Tonight, the 2012 U.S. Paralympic team will be announced in Colorado. Among the hopefuls is a 27-year-old from the University of Illinois who's one of the top women racers in the world. ABC 7's Karen Meyer has the story. Anthony Faubert Pratt is training how to qualify for the 2012 Paralympic Games that will take place in London two weeks after the Olympics. I'm hoping to compete in the 100 meters, 200 meters, 400 meters, and the 800 meters. In the 200 meters, my best time, which is the world record, is 29.16. I train six days a week, and it's anywhere from about an hour and a half to two hours in a given training session. If selected, this will be her second Paralympics. She made her debut at the 2008 Banshee Games. In Beijing, I competed in the 100 meters, 200 meters, 400 meters, and the 4x1 relay, and came home with two bronze medals. Actually, with Bo and the fighter, she became disabled two months after coming to America from Calcutta, India, where she lived in an orphanage. I got sick with transverse myelitis when I was a baby, and it left me paralyzed from the waist down. Her adoptive family lived outside of Boston, where she was inspired by the wheelchair racers in the Boston Marathon. I'd never seen anything like it. And in that moment, I realized that I could live life with my disability. I could go to college, I could get involved in sports, I could have a family, I could uh, do all these different things. So I started bugging my parents to pretty please, could I get one of those shiny racing chairs? And I wanted to try it. Uh, my parents found a Saturday sports program about, that was about an hour away from my house. And I got to try every sport under the sun. And I fell in love with the sports with speed, downhill skiing and wheelchair racing. She ended up at University of Illinois for both sports and education. I'm a three-time graduate now of the University of Illinois. My bachelor's and master's is in speech language pathology and my master's and my PhD is in human resource education. So I'm interested in adult learning and leadership development. Between earning her doctorate and training for the Paralympic game, actually co-author an educational kids coloring book called Color, Learn and Play, all about sports for athletes with physical disabilities. Hey, I realized that I had this amazing platform and a wonderful education to be able to give back and to, and to make a difference for young kids. So it started just as this little side project of something that I was interested in. By the end of today, actually we'll learn whether or not she made the team and if she does. I'm hoping to bring home some gold from London. Karen Meyer, ABC 7 News. We hope to see that goal, too. Well, to learn more about Anjali Forber Pratt and the 2012 Paralympic team, just go to our website at abc7chicago.com, click More, and then Disability Issues. We'll be rooting for